Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be the next video on an MLB transaction as Andrew Vasquez uh, signed with the Toronto Blue Jays as they continue to add. They added a righty earlier that they tried to get going, and Joe Biagini, who has to just hone in his pitches from five to about three or two pitches, where Andrew Vasquez has been doing that in the minor leagues, where he's mostly, excuse me, curveball sinker. And has been very good as a double play guy, whether it's with Rochester, whether it's been with Pensacola, um, whether it's been with Oklahoma City, St. Paul, whoever he's been with in the minor league, uh, with whatever system he's been in. He's been great in his minor league career at getting double plays and using that curveball effectively. Apologies for a plane going by, but using that curveball effectively um, in the zone to get lefties out from his own side, but also using it effectively at times against the right-handers to throw them off as well. And obviously, if he can be very keen in the zone, uh, he's a very good pitcher because of that sinker to be have the ability from both sides, whether it's a right-handed player at the dish or a left-handed player at the dish, to be able to get guys to ground in the double plays. The big issue with Vasquez is he's similar to how I've talked about different guys today in the Bia Genies, the Aaron Barrett's in the video I did for the Phillies, um, that he just needs to be able to kind of calm it down once he gets to the MLB level, similar to the Verhagens as well, who the Cardinals really believe in coming back over um, from overseas himself to have some success over here. But the, he's a guy that just needs to hone it in when he gets to the MLB level. He looks so confident on the hill. And even when he has some location issues that he has uh, definitely at times at the minor league level, he's been able to figure it out because he just locks it back in, gets that key ground ball with the sinker, or has a very nice snapped on curve ball to be able to get out. So it's about having that same show confidence once he gets to the big league. He hasn't been able to figure that out yet. He's only at 28 years of age, as I said in all the videos I have done recently that have included relief pitchers. It's such an up and down um, <clears throat> thing in baseball. The most back and forth thing in baseball is relief pitching where who knows, maybe even Brandon Workman for Texas when they also had a Brent Morton Perez will bounce back next year. You never know if they'll be pitching. Nobody thought Zach Littell would be one of the better ones who was on the Giants last year. So you never really know for um, when it comes to Andrew Vasquez, though. He's a lefty, which obviously gives him a lot more um, leeway to be able to get more opportunities. And he's a guy, because of how good he's dominated in the minors in his career, deserves to keep getting opportunities. He's one of those guys that might really fit into that category of once he finds the right coaching at the big league level to be able to really get him going at the big league level, might be able to be one of those perfect league pitchers that just has one of those one or two year runs that's really able to help a team and gets, get him going in his big league career. Hopefully he's able to do that with the Toronto Blue Jays as the Blue Jays make another nice small move after bringing in Joe Biagini and Greg Bird. They make another nice small move bringing in Andrew Vasquez, who they seem to be good with pitchers up there in Toronto and putting them in the right spots to succeed. We'll see what they can do with the Biagini's of the world, who they had before, and who they can do with the Andrew Vasquez of the world. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a, just the most recent video on a signing in Major League Baseball. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the start now of spring training as we get closer to the season that starts now April 7th. Peace out, everybody.